Mashvili. They keep it with the forwards, which is what you'd expect the Georgians to do here. The country's leading try scorer is a member of the pack, so unsurprising that they're sticking here with that tactic as they drive back towards the post. Gorgodze is in support as they get within five metres of the line. The ball now released and it's touched down against the post. Nigel Owens, I'm sure, will go up to the TMO, but the Georgians look convinced that their leading try scorer, Gorgodze, has grounded that. Lovely running here from the fullback. Lovely break, popped inside. Up, just 10 minutes short of the line. It was a pretty high tackle from Takalua that brought it to an end. Lovely play from Nenzanze, supported, but they've got numbers out wide here. Surely the Georgians with just a run in. Back inside to Gogonza, slightly lost his way. Lobzananze couldn't find the ball quickly enough. Hands go onto the back of heads as far as the Georgian supporters in this stand are concerned, but they're breaking for the line to go over as Kilash Billy in the corner. And the Tonga defence went absent. Georgia have that crucial second try. The Georgians will be hurried here. They have been as solid in the line-out as the Tongans have not. As a consequence, now would not be the time to put a blemish to that record. Mamakushvili with the ball in his hand, a simple line-out, a short line-out call, just four in it, and they go to the middle, Hale Tipole successfully wins the ball back, but somehow the Georgians turn it over, it's hooped into touch, and the roar goes up at King's Hall. That's the most famous day in Georgian rugby. It's celebrated here on just day two of England's 2015. Again. Break through between two tackles and lost the ball in contact. It's turnover. Begarza almost broke through there. Nudged ahead by Cicloudi, the fullback, and the referee said, Play on! And Georgia are going to score! What a moment for Becca Cicloudi! From the Locomotive Tbilisi Club in the Georgian capital, Milton Hayden, the coach, is delighted because Georgia has struck back. And no doubt the kick will go over that drawn level. Kicks out of the hands of Maholo. A little pick up the attempt to offload it. Immediately the Georgians trying to play quickly. A little grubber through the bounceless car. The only man chasing back was Ritalik. If you think beating Tonga was big, Look at the smile here. on the face of that man. Continue with the conversion. Gorgodze has been named man of the match. Malasha yeah. Malaguraza, man who... Well, there were, I thought for me there were three Georgians who really put their hands up. Malaguraza was one of them. Gorgodze was one. And Lasha Lamedza, the number eight, could well have also been the man of the match. But that man there has been talismatic in this team. He, he may have picked up a little injury, but he's a crowd pleaser, crowd favourite, and thoroughly deserves the award. Well, he might be one of the toughest men in world rugby, but he's got a smile that could melt an iceberg. I think he's definitely in trouble. Zinikashvili goes himself. After this passage of play in the middle, we'll have one man back on in Kutsea, but they may well lose another Georgia looking for the first score. It must come now, Malagarazzi gives it on to Tadua. Gods out the back and carried on through the blind side. He likes Billy and through goes Malagonazzi! And Lasha Malagonazzi! The standoff scores and Georgia have two tries. And this game may be moving away from Namibia now. A long way to go, but Georgia plays so much better. Gets through Gorgodze and cuts it, just cuts inside. And Malagonazzi Malagorazza is on the shoulder. Brilliant offload. By Takira Kashvili. Great try for Georgia. And the clock is red. That might be enough, says George Clancy. He looks and he waves his arm and blows his whistle and brings to an end a pulse setting match at Sandy Park. It is victory for Georgia. They're second. They have qualified for the next World Cup. What a game Namibia have given them.
final game for the Lexington Zinnikash Billy who says farewell to international rugby. But Georgia led superbly as ever by Mamuka Gorgote have won. They have won by a single point. On the pitch, the battle lasts 80 minutes, but for millions across the world, the struggle to find food goes on. We're teaming up with the World Food Programme and World Rugby to tackle hunger. To give five pounds, text TRY5 to 70750. Each text costs five pounds plus one standard rate message. You must be 16 or over. Thank you for your support.